Hello, welcome to the Minnesota Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. If you have a question that is for one specific school, just make sure to name that school in your question so the representative knows it is for him or for her. Your cameras and microphones are off. The panelists can't see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening tonight. Be sure to sign up for additional ones if you haven't already. And this presentation is being recorded. It'll be available within about a week at the website strivescan.com slash Minnesota. I've gotten the uh, housekeeping stuff out of the way, so I will step out of the way now and turn it over to our first presentation from the representative from Clarkson University. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, welcome everyone, my name's Kim. I'm an admissions counselor from Clarkson University. Um, Clarkson is located in Potsdam, New York, so um, we are out of state. Um, we're in a small town near the Canadian border. Um, we are in the same town as another university, a state university, and 10 minutes from two other universities. So um, small college town, but a really great college town um, atmosphere. We have about 3,500 students on campus. Um, so we are a smaller school. We're more of a STEM focused um, small research university. Um, our main school is engineering. We have about um, 50 to 60% of our student body is in the engineering program. Uh, we have these different engineering majors, as you can see, as well as a lot of other minors, concentrations. We also have an undecided engineering track. So if you know you want engineering, but you aren't sure exactly which field, um, you can come in and get a feel for all of them your first year and then decide after that. We also have a school of business, uh, which is about 25% of our student body, so still a big amount. Um, our business students jump right into it and start their own business their first year. Uh, it's really a lot like Shark Tank, if you ever watch that show on TV, um, you do a pitch, start your business and run it your first year. All of our business students in whichever major they're in are also required to study abroad at some point to get the international experience, also to do an internship or co-op. We also have a School of Arts and Sciences. Um, they are, these are all of our science majors, um, very heavy in research, hands-on opportunities. We are just outside the Adirondack Park in New York. Um, so a lot of our science majors, especially the environmental and biology majors, are able to get real um, research experience right outside the door, basically. Um, so a lot of these areas are very easy to um, double major in as well, um, so you can really make it what you want. Our arts programs uh, are also listed, um, also very easy to um, double major or pick up minors in um, certain areas. You can also cross over into the other schools. You could be a business major with a minor in communications or an engineering major um, with a minor in business. Uh, you know, world's your oyster, we always say. It's your education. Um, you can do what you want with it. Uh, we also offer pre-health advising. We have pre-med, pre-dental, pre-vet, uh, pre-physical therapy, pre-occupational therapy, pre-physician's assistant. Um, and as you can see, we do have the doctorate for physical therapy right on campus. So you can do it all in one shot. Um, and then we do have the master's program on campus for occupational therapy and the physician's assistant program. Uh, one of the main things that we require all of our students to do while they are with us. So no matter what major you're in, um, you will have to do a professional experience um, before you graduate, which is a really great experience. You get real world work experience <laughs> with a company. Um, they're also paid, it's always very nice. Um, so we do offer internships, which are in the summer, um, co-op experiences, which are an entire semester long, um, where you're solely gone, just working for a company. We also um, offer research with professors right on campus. You can start as early as your freshman year in some cases. Um, so that also fulfills the professional experience. Um, we also offer the international experience. As I mentioned, the business majors are required to complete that, but it is open to all of our majors. So. Um, it's just required for them, but if you're interested in studying abroad, you absolutely can, um, no matter what major you're in. Um, we're a very um, residential school. Uh, most of our students do live on campus all four years. Uh, we do have about 200 to 250 different clubs, organizations on campus. Um, we have our speed teams, which are engineering projects. Um, we are about 20 miles from the Canadian border, um, closest to Ottawa the capital of Canada, but also a quick drive to Montreal as well. Um, so a lot of students take advantage of that when we're able to cross the border, hopefully again soon. As I mentioned, we are close to the Adirondack Park as well. So any kind of outdoor activity is extremely popular with our students. 
hiking, skiing, backpacking, camping, you name it, um, there's a club for it for sure. So lots to do on campus. Uh, we also have division one men's and women's hockey. Our women were the national champions three times within the last six years, I believe. Uh, so we're really proud of both programs. We also have division three for all of our athletic teams. Um, so definitely a, a very school spirited uh, campus. So the games are all fun to go to. We do have several club and intramural sports as well. For our application requirements, uh, we do require official high school transcript, uh, two letters of recommendation. We will accept more if you'd like to send us more. If you have a few teachers, a boss, coach, anyone that would write something um, good about you, please send it. Um, we are test optional for the SAT and ACT. Um, however, if you do end up taking it um, and want us to look at your score with your application, um, you can still send it. We'll still look at it. But in the same uh, case, if you're not able to take it, um, it won't count against your application whatsoever. Uh, we do take the Common App, um, which is very convenient for you to fill out. We do have our own Clarkson application as well. Uh, we have no preference, so you can fill out whichever you'd like. Um, both are free as well. So um, we are also automatically considered for merit-based aid, scholarships, um, things like that, any kind of um, merit awards. When you apply to Clarkson, you're automatically put into a pool of scholarships. Um, and then we do award need-based aid as well. Um, we just require the FAFSA for that. Um, and then this is just a shot of campus to give you a feel of the area um, since you are a little bit away. Um, we are open for visits. Um, good news today, New York State did um, lift its guidelines for visits. So if you are interested in visiting um, Clarkson or any school in New York State after April 1st, um, we will be able to have visitors. Um, so thank you. Um, hopefully we will see you. And if you have any questions about Clarkson, um, you can feel free to email admissions at clarkson.edu. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I will remind everyone who's attending, if you have questions for any of our presenters, just use the Q&A button. You can ask your question at any time. If it's for a specific school, just make sure to name the school in your question. Up next, we will hear a presentation from Drake University. There we go. Perfect. Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren Sharp, and I am <clears throat> one of the admission counselors at Drake University. So Drake is located in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, so you'll get to know us. We're about three and a half hours south of Minneapolis, just for reference. This is Griff 2. He is our live mascot, so easily the hottest commodity on campus or around campus. He's at sporting events. You'll be able to see him around campus, and he's always up for a good selfie. So catch him on Instagram, TikTok, all the social media as well. Just a little makeup of our student body. So we have just under 3,000 students for undergrad and then about 1,500 graduate students. So we're kind of that mid-sized university um, where you really get to know your academic cohort, but kind of are seeing unfamiliar faces when you're walking around campus to dining hall, residence halls, all of that. We do have a 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So smaller class sizes with the average class size of 21. So again, you, you can develop more um, intimate relationships with your peers, professors, get to know them very well, um, and all of our classes are taught by professors as well. So no teaching assistants or graduate assistants will be teaching you, um, all professor taught. Plenty of different ways to get involved on campus. So we have over 140 different student organizations, anywhere from academic focused to clubs, sport clubs in your murals. Um, we have service-based, leadership, so pretty much anything that you would like to be involved in, you can certainly get involved in. Um, around campus and within the Des Moines area as well. But Drake Relays is one of the best and the most or longest standing traditions at the university. Um, these occur every April and it's this big track meet where high school, college and Olympia, Olympic athletes come and compete. And then the picture on the right you can see is the street painting. So each club or organization is responsible for painting one square of the sidewalk and then by the end of the night it turns into a big paint fight, um, as you can see how messy they are in that picture. Um, it's one of the most fun activities that our students look forward to each and every year. Um, my favorite stat about Drake is that almost 70% of our students are from out of state. And so you can also see our strong alumni base across the country, but also in 82 different countries too. Um, so it's kind of nice that you'll have the opportunity to interact with people from all different backgrounds, cultures, experiences, 
um, and make friends all over the country. And maybe you can have a nice warm place to visit during Christmas or winter break. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we are located in Des Moines, Iowa. So like I said, about three and a half hours, four hours south of the cities. Um, and Des Moines is a population of about 600,000. So we always kind of like to say that it's a mini Minneapolis. Um, so kind of get the best of both worlds with um, the fun city life at your fingertips, but without the hustle and bustle and the headaches that some of that city life can bring as far as touch and go traffic and the claustrophobicness of it. Um, so things that our, our students love to do socially within Des Moines, we have art festivals, music festivals, um, a bunch of different restaurants that are kind of hole in the wall and unique to Des Moines, but also those um, popular chain restaurants as well. We have um, the second best farmer's market in all of the, the United States, right behind Seattle. So it's pretty cool. There's food trucks and street vendors, art vendors, live music. Um, so it's definitely like a college town, college vibe. Um, type of area. So definitely getting that college experience with, with social aspects. Um, on the professional side of things, so 92% of our students actually graduate from Drake with having at least one internship or practical experience. Um, so being in a, a city like Des Moines, you have all of those internships basically anywhere you want. And so here are just a couple of different um, examples of where our students have interned in the past and where we've developed those connections. Um, we actually just hired a new dean for our business school last summer, and he came, he was the vice president at Wells Fargo. So he comes with 30 years of experience, which also means the different connections and networks with people that he knows within the business world and corporate world as well. Um, our accomplishment rates for 2020, we kind of like to brag about this because even in a pandemic, 95 and a half percent of our 2020 graduates were either employed or pursuing grad school six months after graduation, um, which is pretty impressive in the middle of a pandemic where things are not the greatest or not the greatest for the past year. So application, we also have two different ways to apply and both of them are free. So you can go to our particular website or we are on the Common app as well. Um, a couple of deadlines. So the August 1st deadline is, or that's when the application actually opens. And then our early action priority deadline, December 1st, regular admission is March 1st. Um, we do have what's called rolling admissions as well. So two different ways for you to apply test score pathway and test optional. We have always been test optional, but we just made it a little bit more accessible for students due to the lack of ability and able to take the ACT or SAT last year. Um, if you go test optional, you'll either interview with your admission counselor or submit an essay. And then the letters of recommendation are not required, but encouraged, so totally up to you. A couple of different scholarships. So 100% of our admitted students do earn the presidential scholarship. It fluctuates anywhere from 21,000 to 25,000, and as, that is based on your um, scholarship, the strength of your, or the strength of your application. So we look at applications holistically, um, and not just one piece or that piece, um, but the entire app together. And then a couple other scholarships that you can explore would be go to drake.edu slash scholarships. We have some major specific legacy, um, some other ones that you can check out too. We are very unique in that we have, or we offer a tuition guarantee. So your freshman year, whatever that tuition is set as, you are guaranteed to have that for all of your undergraduate years. So it differs with a few of our pre-professional programs like our three plus three law or our, um, pharmacy school that we have, the Accelerated 2 plus 4, but you will have that opportunity. Um, and we think you're going to love it here. And that is kind of it. If you need to contact me, lauren.sharp at drake.edu, and we would also love to see you on campus. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I will remind everyone, the Q&A button is where you can ask questions of any of our presenters at any time. If it's for a specific school, just make sure to name the school in your question. Up next, we'll hear from the Dunwoody College of Technology. Hello, everybody. My name is Kelly O'Brien, and I'm the Director of Admissions for Dunwoody College of Technology, and we're located right here in Minneapolis. Dunwoody College has been founded in 1914, and we're the only private not-for-profit technical college in the upper Midwest. We have had over 200,000 graduates, and we offer over 45 in-demand programs here. Kelly, I'm going to jump in real quick. Are you sharing a screen right now? Yes. We are not seeing it. Well, 
Let me go back in here quick. How about now? That's it, we see it. Hey, that's great everybody. Well, it's Kelly and I'm back again. So here's the deal. Uh, dunwoody has been around since about 1914. We have over 45 in-demand programs. We offer degree options ranging from certificate programs, associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, and bachelor completion degrees. Uh, bachelor's completion degrees are just degrees that students, after they get an associate's degree here, can continue on another two years and complete that bachelor's degree here, another two years. Uh, areas that we offer include automotive, construction, building technology, robotics and manufacturing, computer technology. We have a school of engineering here, graphic design, radiologic technology, and of course, business program here as well. In our automotive fields, we have uh, automotive service technology. We offer collision and repair, as well as we work with five different manufacturing programs, including Audi, Subaru, Mopar, Toyota, and Honda. In our construction and building, uh, construction science and building technology area, we offer degrees in land surveying, interior design, facilities management, uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, electrical construction and maintenance, construction project management, and we also offer associate and bachelor's degrees in architecture as well. In our robotics and manufacturing area, we offer degrees ranging from welding technology, 3D printing, machine tool technology, engineering, drafting, and design, automated systems and robotics. And we also offer bachelor completion degrees uh, for a bachelor's degree in industrial engineering technology and automation and controls engineering as well. In our computer technology area, we offer Pro web programming and database development associate's degree, as well as a degree in networking, an associate's degree in networking, um, which students can continue on and complete a bachelor's uh, degree in uh, computer science, as well as cybersecurity, which is really going right now. We also have a traditional school of engineering here at Dunwoody, um, so students can uh, actually pursue that traditional four year degree in either electrical engineering, software engineering, or mechanical engineering. We offer graphic design and production, radiologic technology as well, and business management and leadership bachelor uh, completion degree as well. So in other words, any student can, can get through an associate's degree here, they'll likely be working, and then they continue on in another two years and they'll get that bachelor's degree in business management. We have fantastic placement rate for, rates for graduates and we have great starting salaries as well. Uh, we have about 15 job inquiries per Dunwoody graduate. We funnel over 7,000 job leads per, per year through our career services department so our students can get a really good return on their investment here. As a matter of fact, payscale.com ranked Dunwoody the number one two-year school in Minnesota, even though we have four-year degrees here too, based upon mid-career cap earnings. So they said, hey, look, if you graduate with Dunwoody with an associate's degree and you've been in your career field for 10 to 15 years, what on average are those students making? And they put that at about 74,100. So we wanna make sure our students are getting that good return on their investment here at Dunwoody. We don't have dorms on campus, but we do work with or network with a apartment complex called the Quad, which is um, just uh, very close to campus here at Dunwoody. Our students like it too. So right now we've got about two floors of just Dunwoody students there. Benefits of Dunwoody education, small class sizes, expert faculty. Um, if you take a look at our labs, they're fantastic here. Um, we offer lifetime career placement support and we have a successful uh, a network of alumni here at Dunwoody. We have over 200,000 graduates and um, they tend to support Dunwoody as well. We do have some internal scholarship for Dunwoody students. Um, they include there's a youth career awareness program, which is targeted towards um, students that are still in high school. Um, we offer a, a women and technical career scholarship here to promote diversity through Dunwoody. Um, we also, if you've ever taken any project lead the way classes in high school, you can uh, be eligible for a project lead the way scholarship, as well as a high school engagement scholarship, which focuses on computer or focuses on any clubs that you might be a part of, including first robotic skills USA or any art clubs or computer clubs. Um, the admissions requirements are, are pretty simple, straightforward here. Complete an application for enrollment, send in your transcripts, and we want to make sure you're chatting with an admissions counselor to make sure this is the right fit for you. 
Um, you can apply right at dummy.edu. We are waiving the application fee for the whole month of October. We also waive the application fee for anybody that's fortunate to be able to come on in here and visit one of our open houses. Um, we, are at, we are establishing uh, on-campus open houses again. Um, we're actually doing one next week, March 16th and 17th, but we also have our next open houses set here on campus for April 13th and 14th as well. So if you're in the neighborhood, check us out either in person or online, and we're here to help and answer any questions that you may have. Thank you very much. And uh, speaking of questions, the Q&A button is where you can ask questions of any of our presenters at any time. If it's for a specific one, just make sure to name the school in your question. A little bit of a uh, program note, the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design has not uh, joined our session. So we will skip them with the hopes that they will show up before the end and we'll put their presentation at the end of uh, the uh, session. Up next, we'll hear from the representative from North, Northern Michigan University. Thank you very much, Russ. Let me uh, share my screen here. All right, Northern Michigan University is uh, about a seven hour drive from the Twin Cities. We'll look at a map here in just a second. But uh, I am actually based here in the Twin Cities. I live in Minnesota. I also uh, worked up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan for 10 years before I moved here to Minnesota. So I'm very familiar with the culture and the region up there. And the thing that marks us most of all is this the natural beauty that surrounds our campus in Marquette, Michigan. Uh, I love this initial picture. It shows um, a great fall picture from the drone of a place called Black Rocks at Presque Isle Park, which is about 10 minutes from campus. And it's definitely a student favorite for swimming and diving and just all around summer and fall fun. So I always like to start with that photo because it's uh, stunning. And that's, uh, again, the main thing that people know about NMU. My name is Jonathan Hamilton and my contact info is here on the screen. Again, I am based here in the Twin Cities and I'm totally 100% dedicated to Minnesota students. So please reach out to me, even if you're college journey doesn't end up including Northern Michigan University, um, we're still here to help you. So I have no problem answering questions if you just want college advice or high school advice or career advice, whatever I can do to help you. I always like to start off with these statistics here that show between 70 and 85% of all professional jobs today are filled via networking and no longer through cold turkey job applications like back in the old days. Um, I've experienced this in my own career um, where it's been hard for me to get jobs at times, especially right out of college because I didn't have a network. And the reason I highlight networking is because Northern Michigan University is really good at helping undergrads build a network while you're in college so that when it comes time for you to graduate or look for internships or letters of recommendation, phone calls, for jobs, um, for what comes next, for grad school, whatever it may be, um, what we do is we focus on undergraduates. So even from freshman year, you can start doing research with your professors at NMU. Your classes are gonna be taught by actual professors and not by graduate assistants. Um, we're very much an undergrad focused institution. And I always wanna highlight that because I, I think a lot of high school students don't realize that not every college is that way. So I always, my number one piece of advice is to call to high school students that are looking at colleges is always to ask, um, ask the colleges you're looking at, you know, how are they good at helping you not only with your education, but at finding jobs after college. And NMU is really good at that. Our professors and our staff are willing to connect with you, willing to get to know you, uh, willing to give you jobs and research opportunities, and you can even get paid for those starting your freshman year through our freshman fellowship program. So keep that in mind when you think about colleges and universities. How are they going to help you with the end game uh, after college? NMU is very good at that. We're very accessible from the whole Midwest and from Minneapolis specifically about a seven hour drive. Uh, about a 45 minute flight as well, which uh, I did a few months ago. And I think it was only about 150 bucks up to Northern one way. So super accessible for Minnesota, especially. Very well known for our outdoor environment. 
and the awesome opportunities that our students have uh, right from our campus. You can get on trailheads right there on campus. You can hit Lake Superior, which is basically like the ocean, uh, five minutes from campus. And uh, there's just an endless array of outdoor activities year round, four seasons in Marquette. It's a beautiful um, wilderness area around the city, but the city of Marquette itself is a nice size as well with plenty of shopping and restaurants and an awesome foodie scene springing up there as well. Uh, so definitely Marquette is, is a cool place to go to school and I'm jealous of our current students, honestly. Uh, we're a mid-sized school, 7,600 students, and 91% of our graduates say they would definitely do it again if they had the opportunity. Uh, we were the first college in the U.S. with a four-year medicinal plant chemistry program, and we're also the only school in a northern climate that has a forensic crime lab with the study of decomposition of human remains. So a lot of uh, federal and state and local police research gets done on Northern Michigan's campus with our criminal justice students and definitely some cool opportunities there. We are test blind going forward. Um, all we ask for is an application from you, your high school transcripts and a $35 application fee. And uh, even with just a 2.25 GPA, which is what gets you into school, as an out-of-state student, you'll automatically qualify for our NMU incentive fund at $3,000 a year. If your GPA is 3.0 or higher, you automatically get $5,600 a year, which brings out-of-state tuition right in line with in-state tuition. We have another uh, up to $5,000 per year scholarship for out-of-state students called the Wildcat Achievement Award. That depends on your high school GPA and your test scores. Um, and that can be stacked right on top of this. So up to 10,600 a year right off the bat. And the reason we do that is we're trying to make uh, the cost overall the same for out-of-state students as it is for in-state students. And you can see there on our eight payment plan, uh, we have been able to bring it right about the exact same at $1,100 this school year for in-state and out-of-state students on average. We'd love to have you come visit us. We do have some limited in-person tours right now, but if you can't do that, at least take a virtual tour where you'll meet, you will meet real people. You'll have a real live tour of campus and uh, you can always uh, check us out that way. Thanks for being here tonight, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And once again, as I've reminded everyone in between each of the presentations, but just use the Q&A button anytime to ask questions of any of our representatives. If it's for a specific school, just make sure to name the school in your question. Up next, let's hear from the representative from the University of Vermont. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Ashley Brown, and I serve as the Regional Associate Director of Admission uh, on behalf of the University of Vermont, and I am stationed in the Chicago region uh, year round, but I uh, take care of students uh, across the entire Midwest region. So, so glad to be here uh, this evening on behalf of UVM. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the University of Vermont is a medium-sized undergraduate and graduate institution. We've got about 10,000 undergrads on our uh, campus us currently. Um, we are at average class size covers just around uh, 32 students um, and we represent about 47 different states and about 67 different countries um, across our student body. We offer over 100 different uh, majors on campus. So some of our more popular programs include business, psychology, environmental studies and sciences, in addition to the health sciences as well. So uh, if any of you students are looking to go into nursing or pre-med, we actually have a level one trauma, trauma center that is located in the heart of campus where students are able to get a lot of great clinical work and internship work done as well. This slide just talks a little bit about our distinctive qualities and sometimes on the surface, some of those distinctive qualities can seem a little bit contradictory. So for example, the University of Vermont is very old. Uh, we were founded in 1791 and we are the fifth oldest institution in the New England area after Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth and Brown. But we're also really new in the fact of uh, constantly keeping pace with the changing world around us and we are constantly instituting new academic programs and building new infrastructure on campus. So we are well aware of the ever-changing society 
society that we find ourselves in. Uh, we're also really big compared to some of those uh, really small liberal arts institutions across the country, but also really small compared to some of your larger national research institutions as well. It is also true that we are both urban and open. So with us being urban, we are located in the beautiful city of Burlington. It is about a 10 minute walk away from the downtown area. Um, so students are able to enjoy lots of nightlife and shops and restaurants and everything that our downtown area has to offer. With us being open, uh, that is referring to our natural landscape. So our campus uh, is situated uh, and framed by the, the Green and Adirondack Mountains. Um, we are sitting, uh, we sit on Lake Champlain, which is the sixth largest uh, freshwater lake in the United States. So um, just very beautiful, very picturesque, and students really appreciate um, the nature that they're able to uh, find themselves in on a regular basis at UVM. Um, so this slide just talks a little bit about our hands-on experience. Uh, experiential learning is a critical component of a UVM education. On the right-hand side of the screen here, you can see some recent internships uh, that our students have completed. We've got some pretty big name companies there. Uh, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see some statistics um, regarding support of those hands-on opportunities as well. So these are readily available for students, uh, whether you are finding these opportunities in our career center or via academic advisors or faculty members, or even just word of mouth. You know, we definitely support students and assist them in getting these hands-on opportunities. This is a little bit about our housing system. Um, all first-time freshmen are required to live in dorms uh, the, their first and second year. Um, and our housing system is really unique in the fact that we have living and learning communities. And it really uh, is set up in a way where students can hone in on their passion outside of the academic program that they're studying. So say, for example, if a student is studying business, but they're also really passionate about sustainability, they'd be able to sign up to live in that sustainability learning community. They'd be living and learning with students who have that same shared interest. They would also be taking a one credit hour course together centered around sustainability. And then they'd also be doing different activities around the Vermont area uh, centered around sustainability as well. So very unique setup. Um, our students rant and rave about how great the living and learning communities are. Um, and students do have the opportunity to move off campus um, their junior and senior year, but do have to stay on uh, for those first two years. This slide just talks a little bit about our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion on campus. Um, our campus operates out of six common ground values, and you'll see those values lo um, located here on the left-hand side of the screen. So they are respect, integrity, innovation, openness, justice, and responsibility. And we've taken these values a step further and integrated them into our academic curriculum as well. So in order to graduate from the University of Vermont, students not only have to complete the credit hours that's within their uh, specific academic program, but they also have to fulfill these requirements that are listed on the bottom right hand side of the screen. So Students have to take a foundational writing and information literacy course, a quantitative reasoning course, a sustainability class, in addition to two non-European diversity courses as well. At the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see some campus identity centers. Um, these are a great way for students to get um, uh, involved in campus and just really feel a little bit more at home at UVM. So um, our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion is very strong and it is one that we're very proud of as well. Lastly, I want to go over our admission uh, process as well. Um, we uh, do a holistic approach in terms of our uh, application process. Average GPA is gonna hover around a 3.7. We were test optional this past admission cycle. I anticipate us uh, being test optional this coming admission cycle as well. But if you are looking to submit test scores, um, we're looking at a middle 50% um, from a 28 to a 32 for ACT or that SAT equivalent. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Ashley Brown once again, and please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Thank you very much. And I'm going to invite each of our reps to come back on camera and turn on their microphones so that uh, we can do a quick little uh, Q&A here since we've got a few minutes. Um, and again, I'll uh, make the announcement just to, if anyone was here for that specific school, but uh, we did not see the representative from Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. But for the rest of you, we'll do 
like I said, some Q&A. I get to play talk show host. And the first question we'll ask, and we'll have you answer in the same um, order that you presented, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process right now? And we'll start with uh, the uh, Clarkson University. Um, so I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, I know it sounds kind of simple, but um, don't be afraid of us. Um, we're, that's what we're here for, us <laughs> to answer your questions. Even if you think they're silly or um, crazy or whatever it might be, um, we all probably have had a handful of those kind of questions. So don't be afraid to ask your questions. We've probably been asked it before. Um, and if it's important to you, we wanna be able to get the answer to you. Um, you know, it's, this is your, gonna be the best, hopefully four years of your life, maybe more if you do any uh, additional um, degrees or anything like that. Um, so we wanna help you find the best fit for you and best fit for our universities as well. Um, but you know, it's a great experience. So please reach out to all, all of us or any of the schools that you're um, considering. We, that's what we're here for, so. Drake University. My advice would be to visit, which is I know hard in the middle of a pandemic, but I think it's really hard to get a feel um, for the campus, if you can call it home, not just the campus, but the city that it's in for the next four years or, her, or however many um, without visiting. So visit as much as possible in a safe way right now until we can do it normally. Dunwoody College of Technology. Yeah, I just want to echo that. Uh, I encourage everybody if you can come out and visit. I mean, kind of the, the one of the things is if you can take some take a look at a college on paper, but until you actually walk on campus and kind of get a little feel of what it looks like, where the spaces are, where would I be learning, um, it, it really does help to solidify your your choices. Um, and uh, again, if you can't do that physically on campus, um, we have virtual options for students as well. But if you have that opportunity to actually get to those those colleges, narrow down that search, and and you, you'll you'll see which which one you'll you'll be the best fit in. Northern Michigan University. Yeah, I just want to um, go back to what I said about networking. It's just something that most high school and college students aren't thinking about yet, and it really burns a lot of people. So think about, um, you know, the colleges I'm looking at. I want to ask them if they're you know, if their professors are the kind of people that are, I'm going to be able to connect with that are going to care about me. And if I'm willing to put myself out there as a student and get to know them over my four years and maybe work for them or work with them, are these the kind of people that is this kind of institution that's going to be able to help me with getting into grad school or getting a job or getting an internship? How do they answer that question? Um, I would just encourage you, even in high school, to start building that network and thinking about the end game of college. And the University of Vermont. Yes, well, I think my uh, advice is a little bit more on the interpersonal side, but just uh, follow your heart, you know. Um, you'll be getting advice from lots of different people, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like students are uh, really intelligent and really just astute enough to kind of know at the end of the day where they belong. So just follow that gut feeling um, and you'll end up where, where you need to be. Next up, we'll go with the kind of a, well, more of a fun question. And that is simply, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? And back up to our first presenter, which was Clarkson University. Sure, so um, this one's easy. <laughs> so as I mentioned, we do have division one um, men's and women's hockey um, and our rival down the street at St. Lawrence University, we're only 10 minutes apart. So anytime we play each other, it's a very spirited um, game and uh, pretty much standing room only. The arena gets hot. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Um, it happens a few times a year. And sometimes they play each other in Lake Placid, New York, which is about an hour and a half away from campus. So everyone goes there and watches them play on the um, Olympic ice. So I would say that's my favorite tradition. There's a lot of traditions that kind of go along with the games and everything. So I would say that's my favorite and probably a lot of other people's too. Drake University. Um, I kind of mentioned this in the presentation, but I would say the Drake Relays, mainly because um, thousands of people come from all over the country, um, just to Des Moines, Iowa, to celebrate a bunch of people running in a circle, which is a much cooler than like what it actually sounds like, but some Olympians like Lolo Jones, who's a Des Moines native as well. So it's pretty cool that 
our students get to not only experience that, but they're also involved in a lot of like internship experience or the behind the scenes work too. And then the fun side of things with the, the street painting and the fight and, and all that stuff as well. So. Dunwoody College of Technology. I have to say our student projects, so we're, we're about uh, hands-on applied learning here. So if you come to our campus, um, you're gonna see maybe some people in engineering, draft and design. Um, they might be racing the electric bikes in the parking lot that they've developed. Um, they might, you might see a drone, drones flying around a little bit. You might see um, in the winter time, you'll see our autonomous snowplow competition in our parking lot. So you'll have different 12, uh, 15 different colleges here competing with the autonomous snow plows that kind of drive themselves. So um, the cool thing about when you visit Dunwoody, at least you should be able to see some cool projects in, in place when you come in here. So that's kind of what we do. Northern Michigan University. Uh, I would go along with what Kimberly said. Definitely hockey game day on the campus of Northern Michigan University is king. Um, it's uh, over the last 15 years, I've worked at three different Division I hockey schools, Alaska Fairbanks, Michigan Tech, and Northern Michigan. And hockey has been king at all three of those institutions. And it's been a big part of my life and my experience at those schools. And the students just absolutely love it. It's a crazy fun experience. And we're hoping that next season we can get back to the normal experience for everyone. University of Vermont. Yes, I would have to say um, our convocation ceremony, which is just a ceremony that um, kind of kicks off the school year, but it's really magical just to see all of the students out on the university green and hearing from our president and just really getting everybody excited and, and warmed up for the school year. So it's uh, definitely an event to remember every year for students. Well, well, we have time for a third question. So we'll go ahead and again, answer in the same order, but. Another fun one, an interesting or fun fact about your school. We'll start with Clarkson University. So a fun fact, um, Wes Craven, who um, made Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream, all those kind of creepy horror movies, um, was a former professor at Clarkson. And there was this old house on Elm Street in Potsdam that rumor has it, it's not confirmed, um, was his, um, reason for making Nightmare on Elm Street. So kind of a creepy fact, but it's kind of neat too. <laughs> Drake University. I think the most fun fact about Drake is our live mascot Griff or Griff 2. So Griff, the original Griff, the OG actually retired in June and we had a whole ceremony for transfer of the collar and, and all of that and their brothers. So they still get to hang out. Um, but yeah, Griff 2 just being a live bulldog, he's all over social media. Um, I think he has a higher following than I do, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's kind of everybody's end goal by the time they graduate is to be featured on the Instagram page of Grip2. So if you come visit, you'll have to try and, and get that mark. Dunwoody College of Technology. Well, our founder, William Dunwoody, was actually a partner in the Washburn Crosby Company, which started here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Eventually, uh, grew into General Mills. But what's interesting about that is if you're from Minnesota area, you might uh, be familiar with radio or television, and you might see the call letters WCCO. And that's where that came from, the Washburn Crosby Company, right here and uh, right, grown right out of Dunwoody. Northern Michigan University. So our football team plays in the largest wooden dome in the world, and it looks like a giant igloo, and it's right on the shores of Lake Superior, which is an awesome setting. And four years ago, Al Roker uh, from the Today Show came and our student body set the Guinness record for the largest game of freeze tag ever played, and we played it inside the wooden Superior Dome and highlighted that building. And the University of Vermont. Yeah, I just have a fun fact. Um, we were the first university to admit women and African Americans into the Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society. Fantastic. Well, I want to thank all of you for not just sharing the fun facts, but all of the facts about your particular institutions. And I want to thank all of our attendees for joining us for this session. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions happening now. Be sure to sign up for additional ones. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Minnesota. 
Once again, I want to thank all of our presenters for sharing that inf the information tonight during the session. Have a great rest of your Thursday evening. Take care.